Team Sepoy from IIT Madras has developed an automatic robot capable of moving across all three dimensions to homogenize and clean the sludge, thereby providing a viable alternative for cleaning the septic tanks. Uh, this is the, yeah, the whole thing moves with the help of a lead screw mechanism through which the opening and closing of thing happens. It is kept to ensure that the whole robot is spark proof and waterproof in nature because even a tiny bit of electrical mishap can blow the whole thing out. So this is another challenge that is associated with the septic tank. Yeah, so a case study, if you want, I can send you in a written format as well, all for like about 15-20 minutes, and I can discuss this in detail with you. Whichever works well for you is good with me. Uh, good afternoon, I am Devanshu Kumar. So I am the developer of this innovative project. This is called Sepoy. So this is actually trying to solve the manual scavenging problem in India. When we talk about manual scavenging, we see that there are more, hundred, more than 500 deaths that happen every year. There are people who manually clean the septic tanks, sewer lines and others. And even by law, even though it is banned today, still this practice is going on. Now, there are a lot of technical solutions that are developed, that have been developed by different entrepreneurs for cleaning of sewer lines. But as of now, there is no solution that exists for septic tanks. Our motive here at developing at lab of Center for Non-Destructive Evaluation Lab at IIT Madras is to develop a solution to clean the sludge in the septic tank. Why these two problems are different is because the sludge in the septic tank is far more viscous and pseudoplastic in nature compared to the sludge in sewer lines, which is very fluidic. This poses a very difficult problem because as of now, we don't even know how to mimic the behavior of the sludge in the septic tank. So what we have done here is that we have understood the problem in depth. We have tried to find out what are the possible solutions to it. And that's how we have come up with the solution. We have developed the first prototype, which was not very good according to the implementation part. So right now we have developed this heavy equipment. What it does is that this is the innovative part which will be attached to the structure. What it will do is it has a four bar inverted umbrella mechanism. This is done to ensure that the robot can actually go inside in the small opening that we have in the septic tank. So this is generally vertical in nature. Then the robot will actually go vertically down and then expand. Then it has blades associated with it. So what will happen is that what will happen is that through these blades, the sludge will get homogenized and we will cut it. We have gotten adjusters here as well. What they do is, this is kept to, done to ensure that it doesn't break the wall. And even though the size of the septic tanks are a bit homogeneous in nature, heterogeneous in nature, it can still yeah, do that. One of the other challenges with septic tank in India is that even though the size of the septic tank is standardized by the uh, commission in the central government, people do not construct it like that. So this is why we have kept the adjuster to ensure that even if the septic tank is not standardized as per the solution, we can still work around that without creating a different equipment. The other very important innovation in that robot is that it is very much modular in nature, meaning that for different sizes of the septic tank that we have, we can attach different sizes of the blades and the robotic equipment can still be the same. So that is about it. What we hope to do is <coughs> From next onwards, we have done a prototype testing. Now what we will do is we are trying to create a synthetic septic tank in our lab itself, where we will have synthetic sludge that we will prepare. This is done to ensure that there are no safety issues with us because the sludge in the septic tank is very poisonous in nature. And this is the major reason why people die, right? So the challenge is to actually create a sludge which has the same physical properties as the human feces. And then we can test our robot in that. We at IIT Madras have been quite successful in creating a material that mimics the solution of the, mimics the physical properties of the sludge. And we think that when we test this robot actually in the simulated septic tank in the lab, it should actually also work in the environment outside. From next onwards, the path is that we hope to tie up with different municipal corporation across states in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, do a pilot of this testing and see if that can be a workable solution to remove the manual scavenging part in India. Thank you so much.